In this video, revealing the top ways to make money online of this year and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out in the free workshop below. So I have this like weird, unhealthy addiction, right? Like, and as you can see, you can see it on my podcast. I have interviewed a lot of people that made money online that literally live here in Bali, where I'm kind of like located with my dogs and my Russian girlfriend, right? And as you can see, like this 11-year-old girl turned on 30 million dollars. This guy that makes a million dollars a month profit. We've been a lot of people that went from zero to 30 grand a month that watched videos just like this in five to eight weeks uh, because we learned from a lot of people like this guy that also makes a bunch of money in line. And I've learned so many different things, right? So many different things, especially someone like me, because before I made money online, you could see that I was supposed to go down the path of like biology, chemistry, math, and science. I didn't understand most things. Um, and it wasn't until I started hanging around these people did I start understanding you know, the process and the step-by-step -step formula of making money in line. And the thing is, if you're getting started and you're like, well, Mike, I wanna make money in line too. I wanna make, I don't know, $100 a day because that's really all you need to really start making it, like making this known that it like it actually could work. Um, then, then, then that's really it, right? Like my goal wasn't to make millions to make money in line. I, I wasn't even trying to make six figures. Back when I was literally stuck at a job that I did not like while working full time, I just wanted to make twice as much working part-time on my profits and making money line while working half the amount of time that I did while working full-time on my job. That was it. And I was like, if I could just make $100 a day, $100 a day profit, like that would supplement my income, but then I could start working less and then start living more. Does that make sense? So what, what did I learn from all these gurus that make all this money line? Well, it's very simple, right? When it comes to making money line, why do people make money line? It's because they sell a product and a service, okay? So it begins, with a product and a service, right? But then you gotta ask yourself, why do people buy products and services? Well, it's because they're unhappy about a specific thing. Now, really just hear about this. This in essence is essentially what making money online is. You have a product and a service that solves a problem and a pain point for someone that's in pain, right? Now, now think about this, like even look in the past 30 days, even pull up your like credit card like statements, right? Look at every single thing that you have bought in the past 30 days. Why did you spend money on it? Because it alleviated a problem that you had. Oh, like when I looked at mine, it was like Chipotle, 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 why? Because I was hungry, I didn't want to cook, right? And I wanted to eat something that was healthy so I didn't turn fat, right? That, that pain point, pain point, pain point, I bought Chipotle. What else did I spend money on? I remember I was like in Vegas, or I remember I was like, my girlfriend dumped me, right? Um, and, and like I looked at my credit card statement, I was like, wow, I spent three grand money that I didn't have for a dating coach because I was in such deep pain point that I wanted to buy my way out of a problem. Does that make sense? So coaching, that's another one. But you gotta understand that everything that you've ever bought in the past 30 days, it solves some type of pain point. So what you guys gonna understand, if you wanna make money online, is you gotta find out what people's pain points are, and what are pro products that you could go ahead and, for example, solve them, right? Now this product could be a product or a service. It doesn't necessarily matter, but you have like, for, for example, a specific pain point. Let me, let me give you two examples, right? Let's do a service. Um, I'm unhappy, I'm a business owner, right? I wanna make more money, but I, I, I just don't have enough time, right? And my time is like valuable, right? I wanna run things like YouTube ads and Google ads for my products, right? But I don't wanna actively manage it. So here's me, someone with money, right? But someone with a deep pain point. So, so what, what is my pain point? I want someone else to run my advertising for me, right? So then someone comes along with a service. Oh, I have a service, four grand a month. I'll manage your advertising for you. And I'm like, dude, great, why? Because in my mind, I'm paying this person four grand a month, but this person could potentially make me 20 grand a month, 30 grand a month, 40 grand a month, with not much more of my time and effort, right? So me as a business owner, I have a pain point. Someone like you could have a service, sell it to me, and then I pay the money, and then now you know this person has multiple clients paying him four grand a month, so you could see how that essentially adds up. He's solving my pain point of me not wanting to run the ads, but wanting to make more money, but he's learning some type of skill set to go ahead and do that. So that's one example of making money line. 
What's another one? Back in the day when I uh, built another business that went from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year, uh, what pain point did I solve? Well, it's very simple, right? Like I sold grill mats, okay? So if I literally went to like, for example, eBay and I just typed in something like grill mats, right? These were the things that I sold and a lot of these were what like scaled me to the moon, right? So how did I go ahead and do this? Well, again, what was the problem? The problem was there was people like families, parents, most of them, that had families, kids, like those are the people that we targeted, right? They have money and they have a pain point. What was their pain point? Every single time they cooked steak on the grill, it was very painful to clean it, right? The things would get stuck. They would have to scrub it really, really hard. And before they know it, they're spending most of their afternoon, their Sunday afternoon, instead of you know spending time with their family, cleaning their grill, big pain point. So what did I end up doing? I ended up finding a product which I ended up finding, like for example, you could do it on eBay, right? Where essentially, I would essentially sell this for, for example, $19, right? $19, and if you bought two, you got free shipping. So sometimes people will buy two, three, four, five, and if they bought five, right, my cost would be like, I would make like 100 bucks, but then I would only have to buy it on eBay for eight bucks. I would ship it directly to the customer and I would pocket all that money as profit. Does that make sense, right? So that's like another thing, right? Again, it's a pain point that people have, oh, I don't wanna clean my grill. So I like I didn't even create the grill mat, I just found it at a cheaper price and I went and, and like sold it, right? And that's like an example of going in and doing this. And then all you gotta do is get this product in front of the right people. That's essentially it. How do you do that? Uh, you could do it from an ad, right? You could do this from content, you can do this from SEO, or search engine optimization. There's so many different things on how you could bridge the gap over that, right? So let me give you a bunch of different examples of how I made money online and exactly how you could do it as well. So one of the ways, let's just talk about pain points, right? What's a pain point that people have? Oh, like it's summer, it's hot. I wanna go ahead and drink tea outside with like my lover, but it's hot and, and like we don't have any shade. Oh, that's a pain point. Look, people sell this on eBay, right? So when I buy things, online when I'm unhappy, sometimes I buy things from eBay. Odds are so do a lot of people. In fact, 729 million visitors go to this website every single month. So check this out, here is a pain point, a gazebo for a thousand bucks. But what if this exact same product exists on Walmart for, for example, $699? So again, we found the people that were unhappy. They searched for things like gazebo netting on eBay in their search term. All I had to do was find a product that could solve that pain point, right, right here. And I just posted up into a platform where they're unhappy, right? So just like that, I could essentially make $100 profit for whenever that sold, right? And as you can see, this sold three, three. So this person made 300 bucks for this one product that they never even had to go ahead and create themselves or buy only after they had to make a sale. Does that make sense? And again, it goes into this process of you know finding the problem. Well, what about a service, right? What if you wanted to learn a service? Well, one of the easiest services you could learn is uh, Google Ads, right? And you can see you can go to skillshop.withgoogle.com, click on Google Ads, and get Google Ads certified, right? Google Ads certification process, and you can see that you could learn like a bunch of skills for free, okay? So that is a skill that, you know, can solve someone like mine's pain point. Well, where do I go to then find someone to go ahead and solve this, right? I can literally, like one of the first places that I did to go ahead and find someone and run my Google Ads was literally Upwork. I typed in Google Ads and I was like, okay, let us let me test all of these people that could run my Google Ads. And you can see exactly how much these people are getting paid. Like look at this, $80 an hour with the service from Ecuador, $100 an hour from the US, Irwai, $50 an hour, uh, Slovenia, $75 an hour. You even have Steve B make $105 an hour, nearly a million dollars just getting clients off of Upwork. So do you see like how insane this is when you understand the ability to find unhappy people? Even like for example, I've done this with like YouTube, right? Like say I wanted to sell like jump ropes. I don't need necessarily my own jump ropes. I could sell other people's jump ropes, right? Like I can literally go ahead, type in something as simple like, like back in the day when I was doing this for, for example for Shopify, I was making like $100 a day promoting a software that all other people were already asking me for. All I did was like Google Shopify and then affiliate program and some other company will essentially pay me money to go ahead and promote their products, right? But I could do this again for say like jump rope. If I do jump rope, 
I could find a jump rope affiliate program and make money with this by literally just go ahead signing up for this and seeing how much they would sell. Look at this, 10% commissions. Average order size are like, you know, like 300 bucks before it started changing because I'm in Indonesia, Bali right now, right? If I wanted to do something similar, I could go ahead and, I don't know, rank for something on here. What's the pain point? People want a product, a jump rope, maybe a health and fitness product. Where are the people that are unhappy? I don't know, where do they hang out? Maybe YouTube, right? Maybe Facebook maybe Pinterest, maybe Twitter, I don't know, right? But if I type in the word jump rope, transformation, do you see that all these things pop up? These are literally like YouTube telling me this is what people are searching for. Meaning, these are people that are unhappy with a specific pain point that are looking for a solution. But like I remember I was looking at transformation stuff when I wanted to get like stronger and get like bigger biceps and whatnot, right? So I'd look at transformation all the time. So these people are also looking for transformation and they're looking for jump ropes as a solution already. So these people already are in pain points and they're already telling you the solution that they want, right? And check this out, I literally made a video like this and you can see, I'm literally on the first page of this video, of this page. You can see this, I'm right here, 734,000 views. I'm, I'm literally there, right? I could essentially sell jump ropes, I could sell fitness stuff, I could sell whatever because I found something where people aren't happy and I put my product in front of them. Doesn't that make sense? But obviously, sometimes you don't wanna create content, sometimes you don't wanna show your face on camera, sometimes you just kinda of wanna be like secretly making money online behind the scenes. And I think if you wanna do that, then the best opportunity to start this year is literally what people in our community were able to do. People like, for example, Dina, a stay-at-home mom, was able to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks with no product, no service, and not even having to show her face on camera. And if you not want to know exactly what she did and what hundreds of other people were able to do as well in our community, then sign up for this week's workshop below. Check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully, I'll see you guys later. Woo!